Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, that's Dale Chanel's 48th World. That's where you keep coming for all of your exciting entertainment news. Check it out, check it out. Remember to subscribe, subscribe to me, share, share my videos, like, like my videos, subscribe, share, like, but mostly subscribe and like my videos, subscribe. And like my videos. Let's get on into it. A lot of Black Star just popped off another exciting video. And I want to say thank you for that. Okay, we're going to go right on into it. Social media. I mean, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Anything? Is there anybody else? Let me see. Twitter. Uh, is it anything else? LinkedIn, I guess. Hell, did I say Instagram? I sure did say Instagram. And all social media platforms that I may or may not have brought out in my video. Okay, everybody's asking this question. How many times Cynthia Bailey, soon to be healed, as in C Hill? Kind of sound like CW, you know that channel network <laughs> with all those little crazy sitcoms coming on. But anyway, how many times are you gonna let Nene Leaks dog you out, treat you like a third class citizen? Okay, burn up the friendship contract, reinstate it just because Nene felt had a change of heart. She wants you in her arsenal again so she could use you, abuse you, and pretty much dog you. Okay. Cynthia, when is enough is enough? Will Mike Hill make you have a backbone when it comes to Nene Leaks? You know, Greg can't control her. He cheated on her, allegedly. So she's trying to get him back for that, where she can dip and dab, dip and dab, and have lunches, uh, dates, midnight cocktails with whomever man of her choosing, Okay. But we know she ain't going, she ain't going to kick Greg to the curb. Because nobody's going to love her and put up with her mess but Greg Leaks, okay? And she knows it. Nitty damn near 51, 52 years old. She old as me, okay? Options are not that, what do you call it, uh, plentiful. You know what I'm saying? But then you got to pick and choose, know your worth, have some standards. And if it doesn't plan, pan out for you, hey, you still got a life. And you should never depend on... Your life being surrendered, sur surrounded and centered by your spouse. You still got to have your own individuality. Though y'all become one majority of the time, you know, that other 1.5%, you just want to have some space to yourself. You know, you want to give some space back to the Lord. Be spiritual. Be your own entity sometimes, you know, even though you're married, you know, or partnered up with somebody, you know, they come next. Because it's always going to be the Lord first and then Everybody else, second, third, fourth, fifth, however you play in the line or however you view your life and your family unit. Okay. But I'm asking the same question because I'm so tired of Cynthia Bailey always going back to Nene Lee's. I mean, the Lord says love your enemies and love your neighbors. Yes, he did. But he didn't say sit at the same table with them. I don't recall that being in the Bible. Okay, you just not you're not supposed to have hate in your heart for anybody. You're supposed to replace that hate with love because it is easier to love someone than to hate because you have to build up so much anxiety and tension and you don't like that feeling. And that's where hate uh, derives from. You know what I'm saying? Turn that frown up to a, upside down into a, a wait a minute, turn that frown into a smile. Just create it. Turn it. Flip it. And you'll see a smile. Okay, but most people like to frown. They like to complain all the time. It doesn't matter. You say the sky blue, they say it's green. You say uh, you blessed, they say well. You know, it's just always something opposite. You know, it gets on your nerves. And that's the kind of person in the years. That's the type of person she charted herself out to be. And I always just accept when a person just keeps showing you who they are, whether it's negative or positive, believe them. Believe it. It's right there in front of you. Ain't no hide. Okay, they might just downgrade themselves a little bit because they may not feel well or they may not feel on point. But surely, but sure, they're going to come back and it's going to rise this little ugly head to view you again and bite you in the behind. Okay, so when a person just been dogging you, dogging you, dogging you, using your name for fame, 
clicks and baits or just for notoriety, they're going to do it. Because, I mean, I look at Nene all the time, how she goes and says, you know, she that bitch, she that, you know, taking her trump chest, going this, that, and the third. And I believe everything she say, in a sense, to a certain degree. You mean, and I'm just only going by her demeanor, her demeanor. How she shows me she gets down, I believe that's how she get down, even in real life. Because you can only play a part for so long, and then your realness come out. Whether you're acting, whether you're on a reality show, trying to, you know, be in a script type format, but give us a little bit of your own personality. No, people can't be good 100% of the time. They're going to have a little time where they go off, you know, radar and they, you see the bad side. Because we do have a good side. We do have a bad side. We just more so good people just try to suppress the bad. They want to be good and they aim at that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always a balance. It's always a struggle between a good nature and a bad nature. But Nene has pretty much showed us she's all about that money. She's all about that dollar. And relationships, friendships, family ships, situationships can all go to the left. Okay? She want her money. All right? And she's fine. And I guess she thinks she can buy people this, that, and the third. And you have to respect people because they are in their truth. You know what I'm saying? It'd be one thing that she'd be like in uh, sheep's and wolves clothing. Oh, wait a minute. That's wool. Wait a minute. They said, where did that go? Come in sheep's clothing, but wolves. Y'all know where I'm going with. But I think it's saying, you know, a person comes in sheep's clothing, but they're wolves. Something to that degree. Y'all know where I'm going with. I'm kind of tired too anyway. But the article just really... Uh, interest me, you know, and I just let me let me read a little bit more. And so I had about talk to my daughter's out. She uh living her best life, and with her boyfriend, they doing. I don't know what they're doing. I'm enjoying myself, watching clothes, you know, talking to y'all on the tube, reading the articles here and there, just trying to digress. Because the, the, my work week has been really busy, so I just want to fill myself with mindless chatter and, and, and entertainment and just that. And third, so I thought I just. Kick back, give me a cooler, wash my clothes so I can have my Saturday and my Sunday free. So if I choose to go out, I go out and I have a good time. I come on, rest my little bones back at home. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Those 50 and up, y'all know where I'm going with it. Okay. But uh, just got to have that peace. Got to have that peace mind. You got to have good people around you at all times because there's just so much devastation in the world. So much evilness going on. So much you know, people just angry and they don't even know why they angry. They don't want to see nobody happy because they ain't happy. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, they put it as their mission to just go and just be destructive and downright nasty. You know what I'm saying? Evil. You know? Just because they don't feel good about themselves or their situation or whatnot. And they just look at other people all happy go lucky. They don't know where it's coming from and they can't stand it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know because I've never been that kind of way. I'm like... Hey, do you do do whatever you feel like? Cause you know whatever consequence you're gonna face in that big white book or whatever book the Lord got to read off, that's you in between the Lord, you and the Lord. Ain't nobody else gonna be up there with you, okay? I didn't come in the world with you. I ain't going out the world with you. You know what I'm saying? So I just I like spending my time uh, with less less chaotic situations in my life. You know, even in my business life, I, I'm 51 years old. And God willing, I'll be like my mom in her 80s and, and, you know, living life to the fullest, enjoying myself at this point in my life. You know what I'm saying? Not worried about, you know, buying another house. Not worried about getting another car. Not worried about putting two grand or a month into the, you know, in the bank to the bill. What am I going to let the bill for? I need to, my flowers while I'm living. I don't need to save up a whole lot of money for nothing, but nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because even... With the insurance policies I have, my daughter could live a nice life. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't probably even have to work no more. She, um, we got invested her money real well and just live live like a frugal life. You ain't gotta have two cars. You ain't gotta have two houses and all this other crap. You can bear. You can only live in one at a time, whether it's a house, um, car, or whatever you got going on. You can only do things one at a time. So that's my philosophy. And I want good people around me, you know, because I don't really have friends or whatever. I have associates because to me, you can't be a friend. If I'm letting you in my house, you eat my food, you listen to my conversation, you go through the good things with me, the bad things, you're family. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we may not be biologically linked, but, you know, you've been down there with the grind with me and, and my low times and my middle good times and my high points. Then you're a keeper. I like you. I love you. I want you to be a part of my family. 
and um, my extended family, family is family, you know what I'm saying? It's what you make, who you bring into your life that makes you happy, okay? That's what I'm saying, guys. Stay with me, okay? I'm preaching to you for a minute, all right? Catch little girl the niggas as I go along and, and take them and keep them and think about it, ponder about it, put it in your life. If you, you know, if it hits you, if it don't, let it go, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I just don't understand, you know, stay on a reality show and then he was pretty much sort of right where, you know, y'all all are co-workers. Whether you choose to be invested in each other's lives after the camera start rolling, that's on y'all. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to put that out on TV because TV is the worst to try to bring friends in and certain families in and they get the big head. They start acting all brand new. Like, you know, you're here because I allowed you to be here in a sense. And they try to take over everything. You know, they start trying to be the shit. They try to start being the spotlight. Like, no, you just in this episode. You ain't in the season, boo-boo. Your, your name is not on the check. So, stop trying to, you know, do this and that. Think you're going to get a seat here. Okay? No. But that's how some people do. You know, they take an inch. When you just get, well, you give them an inch. They don't took a whole four or five miles on your behind. And, you know, it's just like, mm, mm Sometimes you just have to separate the two. Business is business. You have your business colleagues, constituents, whatever. When it comes to personal, you have your personal, personal, personal. And business and personal should never mix between the two unless it's going to be a short friendship or it's going to be a short business dealing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with this article. Uh, why in the hell is Cynthia keep going back and forth with Nene? Look, she should tell Nene, you either my friend or you're not. You're either going to stop talking about me and find drama on somebody else, or, you know, we can't be friends. I'd rather be your enemy than your friend. You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like that's the only thing you understand, because on all other seasons, you have gotten into it with every last person, and you still want to hold yourself uh, on a high pedestal on your chariot, saying, you know, you're the queen of everything. When we all know, you're not. You're just the one that loves to uh, put drama everywhere where it don't necessarily have to be, and then you're either gonna be negative to everybody in the um on the cast, or you're gonna play victim and want us to support you. And you know everybody got a heart or should have one and have empathy and compassion for a person that's going through some things. And she takes it, she uses it for her storyline, and it gets her through the whole season. Okay, because that's basically what happened for season 11. It was just a whole fest about, oh, Greg, this, oh, Greg, that, you know, like every, well, I ain't going to say everybody, but well, I will say everybody's family is affected in some shape, form, or fashion of someone experiencing cancer. You know, some is so far gone, you can't do anything about it. You just have to live the best life until the Lord take it home. Some are catchable. You get treated and you continue to be on watch for eye so it don't come back and, you, and it pose a threat to you in you know, your near future. So, you know, it's just like, OK, that's a good awareness type thing. But, yeah, we are very aware. Mental illness is really taking a strong hold on the com community at large. Now, that's our new beast to deal with, you know, because so many people are just freaking out. And it's just lack of education and lack of funding to get people on medication, you know what I'm saying, everybody think they could just, you know, pray things away, everybody think they could just, you know, get uh, herbs and this, that, and third, and sometimes you just have to go hand in hand with a little medication, you know what I'm saying, because even the Lord, you know, got in them woods and stuff and did stuff and prayed on it and put, took mud, put it on somebody's eyes and they could see, you know, I'm just saying, you know, it's other materials we have to use to get to where we want to be, and the Lord put it all here for us, to thrive and partake of, okay? Even that weed, I think, is something. You know, I ain't tried it since high school now. But I'm just saying, I'd rather grow my own than mess with that government weed because I don't know what they lacing it with. I really don't know what they lacing it with, guys. So be conscious of partaking of a medical medicinal weed, okay? When the pharmaceutical companies are trying to make it is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then let's get to this article. I think I done rumbled, rambled enough in talking about friendship so you can kind of ha have an idea of who to call a friend and who to call a friend or an associate and keep them, you know, 
uh, far away from you. <laughs> you know, y'all can be in the same party, but you ain't got to be on the same side. You know what I'm saying? That person could be way over there on the other side. You could be way on the other side. And y'all can be cordial to each other. But sit at my table, eat my bread with me, and have a kiki and a lad. No, we can't do that. You ruined that way back when. I ain't forgot about it. I sure haven't. I forgave you about it. I still love you in Christ. But no, you can't sit at my table because I don't trust you. <laughs> okay? Lord said love you. He didn't say trust you. And continue to trust and trust you. And you keep dogging me and stabbing me in my back. Okay, but let's get into this article. This wonderful article that was written by Kirsten Willis. She's always putting out uh, excellent commentary for Atlanta Black Star. I hope they give her a raise. But she be doing that darn thing. She be, look, be doing a little slang with a little proper English and all that kind of stuff. They mix it all in there for everybody's different educational level to understand things, okay? But her title goes, how many times you going to let her dog you out? Question mark. Fans not exactly rejoicing over Cynthia Bailey's embrace of NeNe Leakes kindness. Okay, now we read somewhere else. Let's have a little sidebar for a quick moment. You know, then he sent her a gift and a, a nice card. And me personally, how she been treating me for 11 seasons and going forward, I would have returned to Cinder. However, Elvis Presley said, return to Cinder. Dun, 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 dun. Address unknown. Dun, 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 dun. Return to Cinder. Dun, 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 dun. Un, wait a minute. Address unknown. Yes, I would. I would her name would have been biggest day up there, but I was like, I'm returning this back to Cinder because I don't know what she done did to her, what hexes she done put on it. I don't trust the Lord. I don't trust her. And when you don't trust somebody, they are wolfing sheep clothing. Okay, they're going to bite you somewhere down the line. It ain't no sense of her coming into my uh, new thing that I got with my. Uh, Soon to be husband and all this stuff. We ain't got time to be following Nene and her mess. Uh uh. We can't do it. I can't do it. Lord, we just can't. Please get out of my life. Okay. And that, that is how I would have played it. I'm like, uh uh. I wouldn't have went on no social media or nothing like that. But I, if anybody would ask me, did Nene uh, send you something? I would say, yes, yeah, she did. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, she did. I wouldn't have told nobody. I sent that shit back to her to let her know I ain't fuck with you no more. I, I, we don't get down like that no more. You don't dial me for 11 seasons and counting. No. You cannot share my happiness because I know it ain't never false. You just want your camera time to film with somebody else. Because I got a backbone and I got a man that loves me. And I hope he do love you, Cynthia, because I'm still skeptical. I ain't trying to put salt on your marriage or your future marriage or whatnot. But he just don't seem right, girl. I'm not like, hey, is Leon gay? Just tell me, is Leon gay? And that's why y'all can't get back together. Because that's the only reason I can see, girl. That's the only reason I can see. Girl, how did he go that way if he went that way? Because that's too much of a time, black man. Woo, but I don't know. Hey, live, you do you, okay? But I just don't think Mike is for you. I, he just seemed like a very big opportunist, okay? Y'all don't even take pictures and it look believable. On some of them. And this last pic, uh, little pic y'all got, oh, I just, it looks like, uh uh, like a horror movie. Like, you know, y'all could be like children of the corn uh, parents, you know? I don't know. But I'll do another video and put up the picture. I might got it in my archive to put it in this video. But y'all don't look. I'm sorry. I need to try again. I pass. I pass on my kill. But if you love them, I like them. I just, just move. No, I just say I accept it. <laughs> I ain't going to say I like them because I don't. I'm just going to be like, oh, okay. And it's not saying, I, you know, it's just the way he looks. You know what I'm saying? And just the way he says things when he's on uh, social media. And, and, you know, because that little thing he had said about um, somebody he wished Leon a happy birthday or something. Uh, it, 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 I can't remember how it was really stated out, but it, 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 it rubbed me the wrong way. If it didn't rub Leon the wrong way, he was just class enough not to really say anything. You know, it was like, hey, brother, something like that. I don't know what it was, but it, it rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't like him. I, I don't think Sith is a very good judge of character when it comes to men, but, you know, it's just what it is. Bless a heart, bless a soul. And I, have a, hopefully she'll have a blessed marriage this time. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Side eye, Mikey, I'm side eye. Maybe she'll be shown something before she say I do. Because just being engaged don't mean you're, you know, taken. Not really. When you're taken is when you say I do. So if it's meant for her to marry him, so be it. If it's not, 
you know, so be it too. Okay, I just say you dodged another bullet. But let's go on into this again. The article reads, how many times are you going to let her dog you out? Fans not exactly rejoicing over Cynthia Bayless embrace of Nene Leakes' kindness. After Nene Leakes set the record straight about how she actually felt about Cynthia Bailey getting engaged, the model herself stepped in to express her appreciation for Leakes' gift. But fans don't think the star should be so quick to forgive. But I'm like, hey, if a person said they saw which I don't think Nene said she was sorry, she just put up with Cynthia. So really, I don't think apology uh, uh, was there. So, or given, so I, I, I don't know what Cynthia is doing, in other words. So, uh, let's go on back to the article. It says, Leaks was the subject of a report from Radar Online this week that claims she was irate that pal Marlo Hampton attended the grand opening of the Bailey wine cellar last week. It was there that Bailey's sportscaster boyfriend, Mike Hill, popped the question. Well, of course he's going to pop the question because Cynthia don't put him on blast, okay? It's like, marry me now or forget it. Uh, when are you going to marry me? Showing dresses and all this kind of stuff. And there again, Nene trying to tell people who can be friends with people because why would Nene care that Marlo Hampton, you know, wanted to go support one of her cast members, Okay. Hell, yeah, she probably want to get drunk. She knows it's going to be free liquor there. Hell, if I drunk like that, I would be there too. But I'm a Sigrams baby, okay? And I don't like Cynthia's peach bellini. She need to go right back to the lab and research that again, okay? Have me down there. Let me get my taste, taste buds on, okay? So I can tell her, because that's, mm -mm, that was nasty. Had a very bad after aftertaste, like it had aspartame in it or something to that effect. But we're going to move on. Oh, it goes on to say, why would I implode or explode? Why? Child, I don't want high blood pressure, Leek said in part on Instagram July 30th. I sent Cynthia Bailey 10 the night of her engagement, a beautiful gift and car. I couldn't be happier for her finding love. Now, my thing is, if you was a true, true friend, unless you was asked out in person, you know, paparazzi came to you or an interviewer came to you from a news station or, or a blog, uh, commentary um magazine read and they just want to get your opinion and how you felt about it and are you going to the wedding or did you send her or, or engagement gift with this that third then you answer it you know what i'm saying but you don't get on your social media page and nanny leaks and tell the world what you did for cynthia okay pretty much you should just say what you brought what you bought her how much she costs and can we go get one <laughs> you know what i'm saying on you boo boo all right, because that's, you know, just saying it on social media, you know, telling everybody what you did that day. I mean, come on, you tooting your own horn instead of letting Cynthia, if she was asked for her to say yes, she gave me a very nice gift and I love the car. You know, but you just went out and put it out there before she could even get a chance to say anything. So you tell me, did you get your praise? I think you got it just then and there. So it ain't even worth it. Okay, for Cynthia to even say anything. Um... Then it goes in where a commentator chimes in to state Leaks doesn't even like Cynthia. Okay. And then which prompted Leaks to respond. You're right. I love Cynthia like a sister. Girl, how you treat your sister? How you treat your brother? How you treat your family? Girl, uh-uh, you don't love Cynthia. Not how you been dogging her out in public. I would hate to know what you do uh, in private to Cynthia's name. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's been buried about 11 times, all right? And you don't resurrect her back up. So you can just dog her and put her back in the grave for season 12. Yes, Nene, that's what you do. Pick them up and lay them down, all right? But going back to the commentary, it says, Bailey also commented and wrote, Thank you for the beautiful gift, especially the card. Both were lovely. Both were a lovely surprise. It meant a lot. And then it goes in to show where... Um, some commentators were all up in Cynthia's um, Instagram account, and some people were for her. Some people were against her reuniting with Nene, knowing the um, outcome that it's going to have. But like I said, hopefully Mike Hill instructs you to be a little bit more aggressive and not letting people walk all over you and say everything. You know, get the combat with the combat. So maybe he will be good for you, but I'm going to watch and see, you know. I'm going to let it fall on my lap the news i'm not gonna go look you up and and, and you know try to be a salsa right there trying to see this that and the third i don't even do that but if it comes across my social media feed and i feel like damn what why who did that 
it. Okay, I got to talk to somebody about it. And I come on, you know, on my YouTube channel and I just express my opinion on it. Okay? This is all it is. Opinions. Uh, and you can take it for what it's worth. But if you're on, you're on your own person, then, you know, hey, anybody can say anything. And you can read it, but don't take it to heart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because everybody have an opinion. It's public opinion. Okay? Don't make it right. Don't make it wrong. It just is, right? Okay. So we go back to the article. It says, but fans who peep Bailey's remark were hesitant to celebrate, believing the star was too eager to welcome Leaks back into her life after the OG housewife deemed her very sneaky and underhanded. And we all know Nene said that throughout the reunion, and she said that she only had co-workers. She don't have any friends. Okay? So now she's trying to... Um, <laughs> be relatable again and, and gear up for season 12 to go through the whole season then at the reunion go back and say they have fake friends they never been her friends you know this just goes on and on and on I'm like get another storyline why don't you but going back to the article it says Cynthia is crazy if she goes back to being friends with this woman how many times you gonna let her dog you out that's what one commentator said the other one said the biggest flip flop on the show the biggest flip-flop on the show. And then another one chimed in and said, after someone dogs me the way NeNe did, especially in the press, for everyone to see. Yes, she did, honey. She was on radio stations. She was on TV programs. She was on uh, any news media outlet that would take her and hear her voice, her message, that she was saying Cynthia was dumb as hell. She was the weakest link. Da 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm like, woo, child, how can you? How could you? <laughs> but going back to this article, it said, you know, after someone dialed me the way Nene did, especially in the press, for everyone to see, then we are not friends, not cordial. I'm good. I know that's right, girl. I know that's right. Then another one said, Cynthia needs to go on with her life and keep distance from Nene. One thing I've learned about friendships, either you are gen genuinely Friends or you're not. Yes, friends have a difference in one's opinion, but true friends don't hit below the belt. Go for your juggler. Say mean, disrespectful things. Talk behind your back to others. Nene has done them all to Cynthia. Everybody aren't meant to be friends, period. The door is revolving at this point. While Bailey may be itching her way back towards having a friendship with Leaks, now, back in April, Bailey had opposite feelings, and we do know that. She was on talk shows herself. Hell, I think she was on Wendy Williams. But, you know, she was like, well, you know, I'm going to lean any way she is, and this, that, and the third. If she feels that way, she feels that way. You know, we don't have to be friends right now. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, Cynthia was doing the uh, responsible thing instead of telling her true feelings. And it is what it is. They both on a ratchet TV show. They both uh, somewhat bring something to the table i'm still yet to understand what cynthia brings but she has like a camaraderie with everybody she likes unity she supports everybody you know it just is what it is they're gonna always have her be the the rug that people walk on and she accepted i'm accepting it too okay uh going back to the article it says uh sometimes friendships need a break bailey said on the strand and sarah show and I feel like looking back on everything and knowing the kind of person that I am and the friend that I've been to her, this friendship just isn't healthy for me at this point. Okay, that was uh, in April, Cynthia. What changed, baby? This is August, May, June, July. Now, that ain't been but four months, Cynthia. What the hell are you talking about? Because you got a man? Because you got a man now. Now you got a big head and you got a little uh, pump in your chest sticking it out. So you feel better now. <laughs> You feel like you could conquer the world. Well, honey, that man can go out your life as, as quick as he came in. He can die. He can, um, you know, just up and say, I just want to be friends with you. Nothing else, nothing more. I mean, and then you're going to run back to Nene. I mean, I need you to grow it all the way up. It seems like Noel is going to be more aggressive and know, and know the kind of person she wants. And she's going to be walking in that uh path when you're still you know i need a man to hold me down or i can't do anything by myself either i gotta be around the well 24 7 or i gotta have a man 24 7 you know we don't know we're still not knowing who you are we already know you're beautiful you're a loving mother you you know once was a supermodel this then that we are not talking about that we're talking about you standing in your own shit finding your own space and creating boundaries 
and borders where people can't come and hurt you, you know, in public eye or behind closed doors. You know, we need you to stand up. OK, that's how we saying, Cynthia, because, you know, I think you about what, 51, 52, two, we in the same bracket here. OK, and you're not standing up for yourself. And if you don't prove it before you get married or whatnot, but like I said, you got your chest stuck out right now because you got this man and, you know, you think everything's lovely because you don't pretty much beg the man. I don't care what you say. Uh, you beg the man to marry you. <laughs> so you engage. Now, whether you make it down to that altar, I don't know. Uh, you need to really get on your knees and pray and ask the Lord, is this man for you? And if he showed you uh, signals and signs, Cynthia, be aware, baby. Be aware of those signs and, and walk away. Okay? Because you know you already had this with Peter, Peter Punkin, either had a wife and cook cable, had it with Peter Thomas, girl. You had it. So you don't need to see you again. I mean, Leon left you behind and y'all are very cordial. Like y'all could just go back together and just go into the sunset and, you know, adopt babies or, or whatever. Or no, I had no baby, but just love on Noel and, and wish the best for her. Y'all just go and sit in rocking chairs and get old together. So y'all just look so magical together. I Oh, maybe that's it. I'm just biased and I just want you with Leon. But he just seems like he's so loving, so caring. So doubt doting on you and stuff and uh, girl and I just don't see that one Mike I'm sorry I I, I don't I, I really don't I, I don't Cynthia but you know it's your life you live it you do what you can baby you do what you can because we are not promised to be on this earth you know but a limited amount of time and only the Lord knows when to call us home so if you want to spend your rest of your years with Mike and running around with sports and, and this, that, and the third when you don't even watch no sports. You don't even know about no sports team, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, it is what it is. You got a man. That's what you wanted. Okay, y'all. But that's all I had of this story Um, on Atlanta Black Star. Wonderful article written, like I said, by Kirsten Willis. I look for more commentary from her. Uh, from Atlanta Black Star, because she just be pumping them out, pumping them out. But I will see y'all next video. Get into it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like this video. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.